Hello everyone and welcome to the Teen Summer Challenge video for the Jungle Macrame activity. This is a activity that you can earn points for as part of the Teen Summer Challenge. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make one of these uh, macrame plant hangers. Uh, you'll need to purchase uh, some uh, affordable materials to make this and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, first of all, uh, the first things that you'll need to get together is uh, some macrame cord. So this is macrame cord. You can find it um, in different thicknesses. Um, this is the um, standard um, 25 yard um, macrame cord that you can get at Michael's, for example. And I'm also going to be using a zap strap. Um, you could also use any kind of um, bead or material that you can hook your uh, macrame onto and you'll also need a ruler to measure the cord so um, any ruler um, that's about 12 inches long um, is gonna be helpful for this activity and then you'll also need some sharp scissors and a uh, plant pot um, many different sizes are out there I'm using a large size plant pot today for this demonstration and you'll also want to get a uh, plant and uh, soil to plant once your uh, macrame planter is complete. So let's get started. When I get started on making the macrame planter, the first step that we are going to carry out is, um, you can see here I've got my makeshift um, hook here um, I'm just using a something that um, I can film but you can just find any kind of like coat rack um, a hook on the back of a door um, something where you can hang your macrame uh, planter while you work on making it and so uh, yeah I've just I've just found something that I can put my uh, macrame cord around and our first step today is we're going to take the macrame cord and um, cut it uh, to some different sizes. So um, here we've got some, some long cord. So this is the um, uh, macrame cord that um, is 100 inches long. So we've got six pieces here six pieces that are uh, 100 inches long. So you can use a tape measure or ruler to uh, measure out um, 100 inches uh, six times. On a 12 inch ruler, that's um, eight times. So you're, you'll measure each piece um, on the ruler eight, eight times. Keep going until you've got eight 12 inch uh, sections and then uh, cut it and that will be about uh, 100 inches and so again um, we'll just need six of those and then the other part that we'll need is uh, two pieces that are uh, 20 inches so you'll just measure that on your ruler and uh, have two 20 inch pieces. So the first step for our macrame today is we are going to um, take our macrame um, and put it over our hook uh, so that it's doubled. So there's one long piece and then we're folding it at, in half and joining it so that we've got evenly at the ends there, it's about um, a half. So both sides are evenly divided and we're putting it onto our hook. And we at the top are taking our one of our 20 inch pieces and we're making a loop at the top of our 20 inch piece. We're going to grab our group of cords. We're going to Start wrapping with the other end of our 20 inch piece, holding the loop in place, like I'm doing right now. We're gonna keep wrapping around about three times. We're gonna take the end of our cord, 
I'm going to put it through the loop and then we're going to pull the bottom so that we pull it nice and tight. So once we pull that nice and tight, you can trim both ends and uh, have a nice clean um, edge uh, edges for you to continue to uh, work with. All right, so um, we've got our uh, knotted um, top piece here. The other thing you can use is um, you can use a zap strap or some kind of uh, round uh, piece of some kind. You can find wood ones I think at Michael's but I'm just gonna use a zap strap here, nothing fancy, um, and loop it around so that we've got um, something to um, hold our loop here. And I'm just going to put that back on. So this should make it a little bit easier to um, work on our piece. And I'm just going to put it on this way. Okay. So the next step that we're going to do is um, we're going to divide um, our macrame activity into different sections. So we're going to take four pieces. And that's one section. And then the next four pieces is another section and the remaining four is our third section. So you see here we've got three different sections that we're gonna be working on today and it's really important we keep track of that. So the first step is we're gonna start working on section numero one, numero uno over here. And uh, we're just gonna learn how to do a square knot. So this is a simple knot. Uh, it's nothing like super complex. It does take a bit of time and practice to learn this. So I'm gonna go over it a couple of times because this is the main knot that you need to do this project. So the first thing you do is you take the outer uh, macrame cord, you fold it in an L shape like this, and we take the, the last macrame cord and fold it in front and through this little loop that we've got here. So we're folding it around here through the loop. Alrighty. And then we are taking this cord that we've just folded through the loop and we are folding it back and around through the back going the other way and pulling it tight. So I'll just show that again so that it's clear. So we've got our section of four. We're going this way, making an L. And then we're taking the other one, folding it in front and going over. So we're folding it and then we're pulling it nice and tight. So you can see here, it's kind of like, looks like a loop and we've got our two sides and we're pulling it tight around the middle two cords. So it should look something like this. And then we're gonna do that two more times. So let's try that again. So we're making our L shape. We're folding it, the last strand around it, pulling it out through the loop. Pulling it tight, 
We're doing it again from the other way. Pulling it tight. And then we're doing what we did again through the back and through the loop. We go and then the other way. So making our loop going around through the back, pulling it through the loop and tightening it around the middle two cords. So there we have that. And we'll just do that one more time. So it should look something like this. Start to kind of look like a bit of three squares. Okay, so we are gonna copy this and do this on our other two sections. In order to uh, make sure that it is kind of even, you can take a piece of tape and uh, put it on the uh, next section of four. Make sure that you have the next four strands of cord. And so we've got our first section and our tape just above where we want our next knots to go. So we're gonna do the same thing, our square knot with our loop our loop we're going to pull it tight to where the tape is and just kind of measure up make sure it's about the same height as our first section so there we have that. And then we're just gonna keep going, making our loops. Pulling it nice and tight. And then we're gonna do it two more times because we wanna have three square knots, so do that again. All right, so we can take our tape off now and see that we've got two even sets of square knots. And the next thing we're gonna do is take our last set of four and we're gonna again measure up, make sure that we've got um, the same level with our tape and make our last three square knots for this section. Okay. So we've got our three sets of three square knots each on each section of cord. And this is really good, great work. So we've got our first um, set of knots and we're gonna move a little bit lower down now, a um, couple inches, and we're gonna do the exact same thing but instead of doing it with a set of four, we're gonna take the last two cords from our first section and the first two cords from our second section and we're gonna make this one set of four. So let me just repeat that again. We're taking the last two cords from our first section 
and the first two chords from the second section and we're working with them about two inches down and making our second set of square knots. So we've just completed our second section of square knots, three square knots, and uh, we're gonna move on to the second section here of the second part. So we're taking the last two strands, like I was saying, and the first two from the third section, and we're gonna do exactly what we did when we were working up here, is we're gonna take a piece of tape, and we're going to put it just above the section so we know where to uh, tie this knot so it's even with the other section. So we've done the first two sections of this part and we've got four cores remaining. So you guessed it, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the remaining cords. You can use- All right, great work everyone. We've got our second section um, completed here. So we've got another section of three sections done and uh, so we've got one, two, three chords sections and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did before uh, for this section. So we're gonna take the first two, sorry, the last two chords from our first section and the, I'm gonna go about four inches down here and um, work on this section. Um, I'm going about four inches down to ensure that there's enough space for the plant pot to... Um... All right, so everyone, we've now completed our third section of uh, macrame square knots. So we should have um, our first section here, our second section making bit of a different formation here. And then we've got our third section um, on the bottom. Uh, and the next step is uh, we are gonna measure our plant pot and uh, make a knot um, at the bottom here so that our plant pot can sit inside of our macrame plant hanger. Okay, so everyone, we've um, got our knot here. So we kind of put the plant uh, pot into the macrame planter and knotted it um, so that it would fit inside. And we've placed the planter here now that we've knotted it. And um, you, you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did um, with the top um, of the macrame piece. So we took the second um, piece of our um, 20 inch cut piece. So we've got the 20 inch cut, inch cut piece at the top here of our macrame hanger. And then we've got the second 20 inch piece here at the bottom. And so, so here we go we everyone. Here is our completed jungle macrame planter. The next thing you'll want to do is go and find a house plant of some kind to put in your plant pot. You might have a house plant um, already that you can use. Lots of house plants like spider plants make spider plant babies and you can plant one of those in some soil, put it in a plant pot. Uh, or you can go to your local garden store or a plant shop and find a house plant to put into your plant pot and uh, great work everyone. Thanks so much for joining me uh, making the jungle macrame planter holder. And uh, this is part of the Viral Manji Summer Teen Challenge. You can earn points for completing this activity. So thanks so much for joining me today and great work on making your first jungle macrame planter. You can make more of these jungle macrame planters and make your very own jungle uh, full of house plants with all different sizes of plant pots. Uh, you can just measure like I did today. Um, some plant, plant pots need more than four inches. If they're really big, if they're smaller, you might want to use two or three inches um, to fit your plant pot in. But um, thanks again for joining me for this jungle macrame summer teen challenge activity.